Lancel's wound festered and became life-threatening, taking many months to recover from. Lancel fully recovered by the time of Tywin's funeral, at which he appeared along with his father. Following his near-death experience Lancel embraced religion, and joined the fanatical movement known as the Sparrows. At Tywin's funeral, Lancel greets Cersei, but his attire of simple garb and religious attitude clearly embarrassed Kevin. He later talks with Cersei privately, and asks for her forgiveness for their unnatural relationship, and for serving Robert the wine that led to his death. Cersei brushes off Lancel's request, and his prayers for Tywin's soul. Later, Lancel and some of his fellow sparrows invade Littlefinger's brothel. They chase away the whores and grab the High Septon, who vehemently protests, but Lancel quickly silences the salacious cleric labeling him both a sinner and a traitor to the faith. When a disconcerted Olivar tries to intervene, the sparrows strike him to the ground. Lancel forces the High Septon to walk the streets of the capital naked, to shame him for his gross carnal sins. Cersei decides to ally herself with the sparrows by making their leader, the High Sparrow, the new High Septon, and re-arming the Faith Militant, the military arm of the religion. In the bowels of the Great Sept of Baelor, Lancel is being fully initiated into the Faith Militant by having the seven-pointed star carved into his forehead. He then accompanies his order when they go to the training grounds to seize Loras Tyrell. When the Knight of the Flowers resists, Lancel declares he has broken the laws of gods and men, and that justice has come for him at last. Lancel is patrolling the streets of the capital with his militant brothers, when Littlefinger and his Vale escort walk up. Lancel tries to stop them, but Littlefinger sneers that he has urgent business with Cersei and can't afford to be detained. Lancel angrily warns Littlefinger that in the New King's Landing, flesh peddlers are dealt with harshly. Unimpressed, Petter merely quips that while they both peddle fantasies, his at least brings some merriment. The jape leaves brother Lancel seething but he allows Bellish to depart all the same. During a secret meeting, Lord Bellish tells Olena Tyrell that he will give her the same thing he gave Cersei, a handsome young man, implied, in this instance, to be Lancel. Sometime later, Cersei is brought before the High Sparrow to confess her sins. She confesses the adultery with Lancel but denies all other charges brought against her.